Welcome back guys to another video and today's video is what's in my Pelican 2023. So for those of you that saw last year's video, basically the same Pelican, kind of the same layout down here. Everything up here is changed. Some stuff down here has changed. I've added a couple things. So let's uh, dive right in. So start with the top pocket. Um, what I have in here is a Intel MacBook Air. Um, I use this for boot camp. So it's just an older MacBook Air that I use basically for Windows because I don't really like Windows computers. Um, and then I keep things organized up here by category. So this is my like power adapter for camera stuff. So Lemos, D-Taps, that kind of thing is up here. My SDI pouch. So I keep different various lengths of SDI and some T's and things like that in this pouch here. This is my HDMI pouch right here. I have an HDMI capture card and then some dif different length uh, HDMI cables in there. Um, this is my power adapter. Um, I have a couple different AC power or DC power, nine volt, 12 volt in here. This is my converter pouch right here. So I keep up Blackmagic, um, SDI to HDMI, bi-directional, and then a HDMI splitter also in there. And then my dongle pouch here. So different USB-C and USB-A or Thunderbolt 2 um, dongles and USB sticks and stuff in here. So that's basically the lid organizer. It helps me keep all these cables out of here, up in here so I know where they are. So down in the main compartment here, same as last year, I have a point source um, headset. This one's getting really old. I probably need to replace it soon um, with all my adapters for different comm systems in the lid. Um, under that, I have a pouch. Uh, this is like my audio pouch. I keep different um, audio cables, USB cables, headphone extender, and then a couple DMX to Cat5 uh, dongles in this pouch too. Um, under that, I keep two TRS to XLR males to go from my interface into uh, uh, audio console. And then I keep two microphones down there. Um, the first is a uh, Shure 545, which is basically kind of like a spare microphone to have around. Um, I can use it on guitars, bass, whatever, but I also use it as my talkback mic um, at front of house or monitors, wherever I need to plug into a console, I have a talkback mic. And then I also keep this. It is an Audix uh, reference microphone that I use for room tuning. It's not the greatest microphone, but I'm not the greatest at tuning rooms, and so this is just fine for what I need to use it for, which is usually just checking phase and things like that. So moving right along down here, this is new. I keep an Anchor um, Bluetooth speaker, and then I also use it as an eighth inch jack on the side here, and I use it for, um, in case I need to plug in an aux out of a console or a mix bus out into here so I can hear talkbacks on stage or, or the MD mic or something like that. I have a speaker that I can use um, if the setup that I have doesn't come with one. And then also it's nice for programming to have a little speaker so you can play back stuff on it instead of your laptop or your phone. Uh, power for that. Underneath there is my little Focusrite interface, just the cheap uh, two input, two output. Uh, focus right. Uh, I think this is the the 2i2 interface. So I use this uh, for tuning and then also like some time code stuff and things like that. Down here is again my little bit organizer. Um, so batteries, quarter 20s, microphone adapters, quarter 20 screws, just random bits that I like to keep organized in an organizer like this. Next, the iFixit kit. Everyone, if you work in this industry, you should have an iFixit kit. Um, bunch of Sharpies, black and silver. You always have to have Sharpies. Um, I keep a little first aid tin in here just in case. You never know uh, when you need a Band-Aid. 
Um, this is kind of my tool bin section. So I got a C wrench. I keep an extra magic arm in here just in case. A pair of uh, wire strippers and then a pair of uh, flush cutters. Um, a couple extra antennas, 2.4 and 5 gig antennas for rhythms. I think this is for a Newton, a rhythm and a rhythm or dactyl, that kind of thing. Um, my flashlight, same flashlight as always. Um, this is the Surefire. I think this is the G2, can't remember, but the link will definitely be in the description, but love this flashlight. The uh, small rig camera multi-tool. Um, great multi-tool, probably actually better than the red multi-tool. I keep um, a Kershaw pocket knife in here. Um, you never know when you lose your pocket knife in travel, but it's nice to have an extra one. Um, a spare USB battery bank, and then another Sharpie. So it's kind of my tool section. Um, I like keeping these, it's kind of funny, but I like keeping these in my Pelican now. They're like little floss pick, picks and like a toothbrush. Um, I like keeping them in there. You never know when you just want to freshen up and have that available. Uh, MacBook Air charger. Um, I keep uh, a router. This is a little cheap uh, Google router. I don't even think they make these anymore, but it used to be my home router and now I just keep it with me. You never know when you need an access point or something. Uh, it's nice to have a router and it's come in handy a lot of times. Um, in this pouch, I just have a couple longer Cat 5s and then um, a USB-C uh, dongle, an extra one, even though I have one in my backpack. Um, this is my headlamp. This is a uh, zoomable, uh, rechargeable headlamp. Uh, I've had this thing for probably four years now and it still is probably my favorite. Um, I keep a pair of gloves. Uh, these are just Milwaukee Home Depot gloves, but I keep a pair of gloves in here because I usually don't like wearing gloves because I like being able to feel what's happening, but it's nice to have a pair of gloves um, sometimes. Um, E-tape, some rubber tape and gaff tape I like to keep in here. Um, this is uh, an old in-ear case, um, but I keep uh, some BNC barrels and some eighth inch to quarter inch like headphone adapters in there too. So it's nice to have. Um, the pouch up from there, this is my RF stuff. I think I'm missing one too. Yep, I am. I don't have my Vaxxas scanner in here, but this is my um, RF Explorer that I use for RF scanning. And usually I have a Vaxxas scanner in there too for uh, video frequencies. Um, I keep a cheap uh, guitar pedal tuner in here um, for like acoustic guitars and things like that. It's nice to have um, from time to time because it's kind of shocking how many people don't show up with um, guitar tuner. Um, in this pouch here, I keep um, an RME Matty Face, uh, probably the best portable Matty uh, interface. And since we use Digico a lot, I use this a lot. And then I just keep two BNC cables and a USB B to USB C cable for it, all in the same pouch. Um, so that way I don't lose that. Um, a network switch, just a, again, a cheap Linksys five port network switch, always worth having. Uh, this is my plum laser level. So when you're getting plum um, for putting in points, you can mark your points on the floor and then you put this on that point and it shoots straight up and that's where uh, the riggers need to put the point. Uh, you use this instead of a disto because this uh, is an auto level. So it goes straight up from when you are. If the ground is uneven at all, a disto will go at an angle. And so that point won't be straight. So this keeps your point straight. Um, I keep a Leatherman. Uh, this is the Wave, I've had this forever. I keep two distos in my Pelican now, two different ones. Um, I use them enough that 
I think I need two. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I keep two different Bosch uh, distos in my Pelican. And then lastly, a good old fashioned tape measure. This is just Milwaukee, best brand of tape measures out there. 25 foot tape measure. I keep this in there again for marking points and things, marking truss, whatever. Um, even setting out uh, placement for cameras and things like that. It's great having a tape measure on you. And sometimes the laser tape measure just isn't good enough and it's nice to have a good old fashioned tape measure. And I think that about sums it up on this uh, Pelican. Again, uh, this is a six, 1560 uh, Pelican um, with a Jason cases, lid organizer, and then the truck pack foam in the base of it. And it's been with me for um, two years now, going on year three with it, and uh, it's held up pretty great. So if you wanna see more videos like this one, make sure to hit like and subscribe down below and um, I will be posting more videos just like this.